right. All right. Let's talk NFL news, everybody. So DeAndre Hopkins is still unsigned, which means Green Bay can actually sign him. We still have time. We still haven't failed the mission of making a wonderful fucking team. But, you know, we're not going to sign him. But who knows who will. Moving on, the NFL approved a few new rules. The biggest one that everyone's talking about that you should know about. That you will be surprised about when you watch the game come September. Is the new NFL fair catch rule. So if you're behind the 25 yard line, now you can fair catch that shit. And go automatically to the 25 yard line. What the fuck is that shit? So basically, they're trying to prevent more people from having like head-on collisions with each other. Cool. Player safety, great. But the players hate it. The fans are going to hate it. The coaches hate it. And it's taken it away from the core example of what the NFL is, which is a tough fucking game. But what does that truly mean? Well, to make an example real quick, if they kick it off on the field goal and it goes to, let's just say, the two-yard line, you can fair catch it and then automatically go to the 25. So they pretty much made the whole entire end zone and that 25-yard uh, line a giant zone where fair catches can fucking happen to put it up to the 25. It's kind of ridiculous. We're still going to have some that attempt to do it, just like how we still have some that do punts. Um, so we'll see what happens, but I don't like it. I don't fucking like it. Moving on, Tom Brady says he's not coming back. He's not going to join the Raiders with all their different issues with Jimmy Garoppolo right now. He says it's not going to happen. He is certain that he's not coming back. So, um, everybody, King is dead. It's great times. It's great times in the NFL where Tom Brady is fucking gone, even though he is the GOAT. Number four, Shannon Sharp is leaving Undisputed with Shannon and Skip. Or Skip and Shannon? I think it's Skip and Shannon. Either way, fuck Skip. He's annoying Schwat. Shannon, he's a legend of the game. I'll say that. I'm not going to say I enjoy everything that he does, but he is entertaining, and I usually sided with him over fucking Skip more on Bayless. I'm excited to see what happens, where Shannon goes, what happens to Skip. We'll see what's going on. Fucking Pat McAfee taking on ESPN and basically being their new mascot. Um, who knows what will happen in the future? Only time will tell, right? Number five, we have Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay's GM, Brian Gutekunst. They're in the news again. Nobody cares. They're putting old shit back in the news. Aaron Rodgers is saying that they didn't reach out well enough. The GM saying we reached out, but we're not, you know, going to be playing all those rules. He's still a player. It doesn't fucking matter. You know what matters is this next season. I don't care about the old shit. Aaron Rodgers isn't on our team anymore. Who the fuck cares? I loved him. He's a great legend. He is amazing, but it doesn't matter right now. What matters is how Jordan Love is playing, how this team is coming together, at least from a Green Bay's point of view. I don't give a fuck about that drama anymore. Can we please just move the fuck on? And unless something major happens, I'm going to do my best and cut it out of this fucking show. Now that is the NFL news on Friday, Football Friday. I am going into a little bit of a tier list here in a second. So if you want to follow up with my favorite and best quarterbacks and where they go on my tier list, stick around. And if not, have a good day. All right, guys, we have our tier list here. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. We're going to do um, the mystery men first. And get those out of the way. So, first up on our list here, we have Jordan Love. We really don't know what's going to happen with him. So, he gets stuck in the mystery men list. Again, this one is super basic. If you haven't played in the NFL, you're in this list. Um, or if you played only a few games. So, uh, Brock Purdy is going to sit here. We also don't know if he's going to be game ready. So, um, there's kind of a mystery here if it's going to be Sam Darnold um, or Trey Lance or him actually starting the season out. But... Uh, we're going to go with him right now and put him in the mystery men there. Sam Howell, again, yeah, I really just don't know anything about him too much to make an opinion. So he goes there. We'll find out once he actually gets into a whole entire season. Um, over here we have Jalen Hurts. Just kidding. We're going to go ahead and go with Desmond Ritter, too. Where else do we have going through the list? This list, list, list. <laughs> Anthony Richardson, um, C.J. Stroud, 
and Bryce Young. Now, is that everybody on my list? Yeah, that's everybody on my list. You're on this area because we don't know how you're truly going to play because you're just a rookie or you're basically a rookie going into maybe your second, maybe your fourth season, but you really haven't had too much playing time, so you're stuck on this mystery men list. But now that we got those seven out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and spend the next few weeks, uh, I believe five weeks going through all of this. So we're gonna get started on the next five here and put them into their place. So uh, starting out, we got Tua. Uh, he goes ahead and gets into the strong starter category. Um, he's had some superstar ability. Those concussion issues are scary. And why he's still down here, the strong starter, he's definitely not a bridge. I wouldn't move off from him. Uh, but, yeah, two is up here. Uh, going on with Jared Goff. We're throwing Jared Goff up to strong starter as well. Um, there's no reason why he shouldn't be. He's shown his ability. Some might argue that he's a bridge, but... With last year being there, he's also taken a team to the Super Bowl once. Um, I see him as a strong starter. I could see him going down to bridge if he really has a bad season this upcoming season. But uh, no, we got him up here as a strong starter. Joe Burrow, we're going to put him at superstar. He's not God level. He's not living legend. He is just at that superstar level. Um, we'll see how he progresses over the next few years. If he stays consistent, if he goes into any more Super Bowls, we might have to move up to God. Uh, my buddy Matt loves this man. He would suck a stick for a dollar. If he, like, actually, probably suck it for free. But um, he loves him so much, and so I just got to put him up here at superstar. He is fairly incredible, though, when you watch him play. Trevor Lawrence, another first round, a first overall pick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop him down to strong starter. We saw some potential last year um, to move it up to superstar, uh, but we're going to keep him down here as strong starter, uh, see how next year plays out again. And really, he could. I could definitely see him moving up to superstar and even God tier maybe one day. We'll see how his career progresses. And going on to our last pick of the day, we're going down here with Aaron Rodgers. He is the only person here in that living legend category. He, yeah, it's fucking Aaron Rodgers. What more can I say? The man is a four-time MVP. Not going to get into his accolades too much, but he is a goddamn living legend. Um, and come back for next week to see all of these other people fall into their fucking places. Now, I hope you have a wonderful day. That you guys sleep well. That you guys spread love, hope, and peace. Peace and hope. 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 Adios.